I feel so dirty. I have Clorox wipes. Um. Oh. Need to find some hand sanitizer. Okay. Um. Wow. And the game, the next game starts immediately because that was the longest game, obviously. Man. Okay. So I'm four out of five. <laughs> That was, that was a very dirty flag, man. So we're actually playing the, the same line I had previously. <sighs> Thanks for the bits, people. Texas time with more bits. Oh, here's the standings. Wow, Penguin with five out of five. Okay, so opponent, opponent plays kind of a, a suboptimal line. Eric Rosen, he's fighting for a sandwich. So yeah, knight a6, I'll play, I think the idea here is to play like c3 and then a4, and then probably going for h5 at some point. Let's play. I think a4 makes sense, kind of regardless. These, these sort of positions with the knight on b5 against the knight on a6 usually just favors white, because it's very hard to actually improve the knight as it's high down to c7. Okay, bishop e2, very natural. I remember studying this with the engine, like these structures, and I remember engine was giving some knight g5 idea. Don't know if that makes so much sense though, because knight e5 is a bit more centralized. So black plays knight e4. I think I'll go for this, knight e5 anyway. Just relieve tension between the bishops. Um, the idea is to play f3. f3, bam. Black might play f6. Oh no, f6 runs into this. Black might take, maybe? The taking doesn't look good. I guess knight e6 is some idea for black. Try and like neutralize things. Okay, I mean, after that last game, I think this this is a nice structure to have. Looks very solid. Uh, there's this queen. What was queen e8? I guess he wants to play f6, defending g6. D5 is a bit loose. I don't know if I can exploit it. Yeah, I guess he wants to play f6, e5. And if um, if I play f3, there's knight d6. So knight d3 could be interesting. Idea to play f3 is knight d3 c4. It gets a bit weird. There's also, there's a cool idea to play f3, knight d6, and then knight d3 immediately. Because uh, c5 is weak. I guess there's still c4 there. I have knight f2. f2 takes, takes. Some e4 move. Let's go for it. I don't want to spend too much time. Man, never play F3. Boo! Boo! Proving he's not cheating. I could also maybe consider taking, but okay, let's go. Oh, did I just blunder? I just blundered a pawn. That's so bad. I guess I'm still flustered from the last game. I just blundered B5. I forgot the, the queen. <laughs> the queen is also tagging B5, which I saw earlier. So I'll try and treat this as a gambit and play it off like this was all intentional, even though it wasn't. I have some g4 move? I mean, g4 might be, might be what I have to do here. What is black doing on the queen side? I mean, one pawn. Let's play g4. Black's up a pawn. Rawr. White has compensation. Sation. <laughs> this is not at all like I was trying to play a, a nice positional game, slowly build things up. 
but now I'm I've kind of committed myself to just try and attack on the king's side. It actually looks okay. Um, cause, um, uh, the file, like, some files guaranteed to open. If we trade, then h5 is unstoppable. Um, if black doesn't take on g4, then I take on h5. I just want to open the h file, play queen h2, and mate. And if I ever c4, then I can return to e5. Meanwhile, this knight is completely out of play. The queen's not really doing much either. Black plays f6, wow. So the idea of f6 is to meet h5 with g5. There's some logic to that. I want to play h6. Ooh, okay, so it's it's a line to calculate. Like this is probably probably a critical moment. I should take my time. H5. H5, g5, h6. There is bishop bishop h8, h7, king f7. Oh, but then knight, knight uh, oh, that's a nice resource. Knight e5 wins the queen. So the king can never move to f7. Unless black throws in c4, but that should be okay. So h5, g5, h6. So there's takes, takes. So basically this line takes, king takes, and then... Then probably queen h... no, queen h2... Hmm. So h5, g5, h6, takes, h7 doesn't work, so takes, takes. I could take with pawn, and then it hits e7, which is nice. Um, it's hard to stop rook h8. h5, g5, h6, takes, takes, king takes, key position, then I take. Is queen d7. Like maybe in some case I castle queenside and try and attack along the h-file. In another case there's g5. g5 could be nice. Let's go for this. I didn't even think to calculate e5. Okay, but we're going into this. So let's play h6. But Rosen, it's all we care about is Rosen. Look at Rosen attack on the H file. God damn. It's getting crazy. Go Eric Rosen. I think this is most expected. Takes, takes, takes. And then some decision to make. I, I don't want to take with knight and trade queens unless I do. If you're taking is, is a, something to think about. Because knight e6 would be a threat. And knight takes d5 would be a threat. Um... Yeah, so I might actually win back a pawn with a better endgame. Question is, is my attack more valuable? It's always, it, it's very difficult sometimes to compare an attack to an endgame. But both actually look, they look promising. Um, but yeah, let's think about this logically. So if takes rook f7, queen h2, I think is winning. So there's, if I take, probably queen d7. But okay, queen d7, f5, knight f4 is, looks just crushing. There's really no other option for black. I guess there's rook, e, rook a8. Rook a8. Even g5 is a resource. Hmm. Here's knight c7, also pl playable. Yeah, it's kind of, this is very intuitive, but... Yeah, I could have spent a lot more time, but I just have to trust some instincts. Okay, so obviously queen h2 is, is a move I always want to consider, but rook h8, and there's not much. Um, I guess it depends what black plays. I guess this is most likely. There is even some crazy, like, probably not rook takes a6. I think takes on a6, takes on c5. In 
g5 deserves a lot of attention as well. So does f5, wow. The problem with f5 is like knight f4 facilitates a queen trade, which I don't want. Yeah, even though it still might be strong. Eric Rosen does not like to castle. Frankly, terrible. Rosen knew he'd win this tournament when he practiced beating up on me. Something like that. I'm trying to identify my resources here. This is a very rich position. Like this, this rook really wants to be on h2. But it's hard to get to. But yeah, maybe maybe it can be relevant somehow on the A file. So rook e8, what am I playing? Probably f5 or g5. Maybe, yeah, maybe g5. Should really look into this. g5. Ah, but then I'm not threatening. Not necessarily threatening to to take. But maybe maybe I just want a queen's like castle, open the g file. Um, e5 shouldn't be an issue. Let's go for this. In black, okay, so if I play g5, most critical line is probably takes. And g6 maybe? And g6. Rook h8 takes, takes. That looks, yeah, that looks at least promising. g6 is a cool idea, because it threatens this. And if rook h8, then I take. King can't take because queen h5, and if rook takes, I, I take on e7. There's also a crazy idea. Let's imagine takes, I just rook h7 immediately, and then play this. And then, then g6 in the end. I think black has to give back a rook there. So there's king g7 here, 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 and then rook f7. Um, it almost works. Uh, the line keeps going, actually. Takes, takes. Uh, queen h5. I guess the king can walk out to e6 as well. Yeah, important to be aware of the, the forcing lines. I would really love to make rook h7 work. But g6, okay, so imagine takes g6. So then rook h7 is a huge threat. Because if takes rook h7, king here, rook h8. I guess there's king. Okay, but queen h5 at some point just wins. Yeah, we'll see what black is up to. So it goes for this. So I'm tempted to just, just play g6 immediately. Because I, I don't see what black's doing here. Black's probably going to try this. And then takes, rook takes, takes, and then takes. Um, and then... Then even like queen's like castling. I mean, my king looks shaky, but black's king was way more shaky. It defends the knight and threatens rook g1. F5 also move to consider. It's going to be a crazy finish, regardless of what happens. How's it working in Rosenville? Eric Rosen trying to checkmate his opponent. Not very nice of him. Eric Rosen playing Kramnik chess. Doesn't need to castle. God damn. Okay, so F... I mean, there, there's, there's a few different ideas here. F5 will be a resource and some of these lines. Oh, also, king takes g6, I have 95 ideas. But that's okay, that's never happening. King takes g6, it's also just force mate. See, so yeah, I guess I should just calculate this. Rook h8 takes, rook takes, takes, takes. Seems very forcing. And queenside castling. So I actually don't see in this line. Let's imagine rook h8 takes, takes, takes here. Castle queenside takes. 
I don't see what to I do. do after evaluate this position. I evaluate it as black resigns. I assume it's winning somehow. Maybe That's my evaluation. Fun? Sack or rook? Not sure. Yeah, Eric Rosen better rent a car and pick this guy up at three thirty because he's taking him to school. That's how I evaluate it. God damn. Go mm. Rosen. Rosen's too good. And we're going to go into it as well. So yeah, I have to take. So I should consider f5. Which, yeah, f5 might be a nice inclusion, because then guarantees to open the f-file. And then I queens I castle. And then the king's so Eric negative. Eric Rosen completely winning. Um, He's got two I don't know winning if moves. Reason to think we'll play here. one of them. Three minutes to one. Yeah, f5 and is a very winning. nice inclusion, though. Winning! F5, Queen's at Castle, Rook F1's a threat. Hmm. I really wanted to just castle immediately. Keep my F pawn. Knight E5, also kind of crazy move. And then castle, but. Let's go for. Let's go for this. Hoping I'm not missing anything. Like Black doesn't have any immediate checks when I castle. Just All good. we do is send money to Rosen. Rosen beats me in a match. Rosen does our web work. Rosen wins the tournament. Damn. And time is very good as well. I gotta beat Rosen ten games in a row. We gotta adopt him. Save money. <laughs> Never too late to castle. Move twenty-seven. Basically an end game, but still very sharp. Like Black's King is one of the most developed pieces. Rook F one can't really be stopped. And yeah, the queen just cuts off, cuts off the king from finding any, any escape path. Yeah, between these three pieces, I mean, it should just, it should just be winning, because the, the knight's out of play. The queen's also pretty out of play. And there's good and there's no good. That king is no good. I meet you. You meet me. Okay. Let's just be. Be precise. Rook, okay. Rook f1. f6 is gonna fall, or there'll be some other checks. Or I just flag him. Yeah, so king g4. I think queen e2 is force mate. With queen e2, queen g2. And rook h1 mate. Okay, that was a very nice game. So I made like one accidental kind of slip with losing this pawn. Like knight d3 just lost a pawn. But it, it worked out beautifully, like g4. And the attack was actually very strong. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way I'm playing. I mean, that uh, the game before this was, was a mess, but... Um, yeah, I, I really can't complain. Um, this game, at least, at least after I, I blundered this, I, I didn't feel good about myself, but did rebound. So I'm—is it five out of six? Oh, there's one more game after this. Wow.